Welcome to fourth grade math corner. This is module seven, lesson four. Our learning target is today I will use conversion tables to solve multiplicative comparison word problems. So multiplicative comparisons means that we're gonna use multiplication or the opposite, which is division, to compare things. Remember, these types of word problems are comparing two different things, so you will need usually need two tape diagrams in order to compare them. You're trying to find um, either the similarities or differences and then use those to solve. Um, I'm just going to model one word problem. You are going to have a few word problems today. There's many different ways that you could solve these. I'm just going to show you one strategy. If you find another strategy that works for you, that's great. You are going to need to flip back to the conversion tables in the previous lessons that you made throughout your problem set. Those will help you answer these measurement problems or know the conversions, the change between the big one and the small one, the big unit to the small unit. So the word problem I'm going to model for you is Sandy took the train to New York City. The trip took three hours. Jackie took the bus which took twice as long. How many minutes did Jackie's trip take? So I have to understand what's happening. I know that um, there's two people, Sandy and Jackie, and they're both trying to get to New York City, but they take different ways. One person takes a train and the other person takes a bus. So now we're trying to find out how long did the trips take? So we're given some information. We know that this is Sandy. I'm going to say San, I'm going to model Sandy with an S. That's her first initial. So Sandy took the the train and her trip only took 3 hours. So she was able to get there in 3 hours on the train. But then Jackie, I'm going to label Jackie with a J. That's her first initial. Jackie took the bus and I know that a train is much faster than a bus, so the bus is going to take longer. It says that it took twice as long, twice as long to take the bus. <clears throat> I need to know, my question is asking, how many minutes did Jackie's trip take? So I'm trying to find out Jackie's trip. We already know Sandy's trip. So I already, I'm going to be able to draw a tape diagram for Sandy. So I'm gonna model this first chunk about Sandy and her trip taking three hours. So here I'm gonna model Sandy's trip and it took three hours. And then I know that Jackie, her trip took twice as long. And I remember that twice means two times. So Sandy was on, or Jackie was on the bus two times more than Sandy. So the same as Sandy, but two times. Whoops. Uh two times. So that means this is the same, which was three hours. And then this is double it, or two of those. So if this side is three, then this side is also three. So all I'm going to do to find Jackie's is I'm going to go two times the three hours, or I could have done three plus three, and that is six hours. But let's see if that answers my question. How many minutes did Jackie's trip take? How many minutes? Six hours. Does that answer my question? No. It tells me hours and I need to know minutes. So then I have to think, how can I change those hours or convert those hours into minutes? Well, I know that I can go from hours, which are big, to minutes, which are small, by repeatedly adding how many minutes are in one hour or multiplication. So do you remember there are 60 minutes in one hour? So I could add 60 six times, or I could just go 60 times six. And I know, because I'm thinking, I'm looking at my area model in my brain, that I'd have a zero to hold the place of the ones, and I would say six times six is 36. So it would be 
360 minutes. Does that answer Jack my question? How many minutes did Jackie's trip take? 360 minutes. That's about, that seems reasonable to me. Another way I could have solved this is I could have figured out how many minutes um, Sandy's trip was and then do two times that many. So I could have done Sandy's trip was three hours and then I said three hours times 60 minutes and I know that six times three is 18 so Sandy's equals 180 minutes and then just did two times as many added 180 or two times 180 all right um, whoops, sorry, it might be faster for you just to add the 180, whichever you prefer. If I do it this way, I could go three, 360 minutes. Remember to break your, or understand your word problem in the situation that's happening. Show each chunk or model each chunk with a visual. Make sure that you have equations and that your answer matches the question. If you have any questions, please let your teacher know.